Open your project. Use File Open Project. Select Assignments Device from the pull-down menu. Select a family from the Family pull-down list. I've chosen the Mac 7000S family. Select the specific device selected and then choose a particular device. Select OK. I've chosen the EPM 7064 SLC 44-10, which is the device I'll be using and we have in the lab. You'll need to compile your design. Click on Processing, Start Compilation to start compiling. Select Assignments Pin Planner from the pull-down menu. You'll see a schematic of your device which shows the status of various pins with a list of your inputs and outputs below. You'll notice that the pins around the edges of the chip have different symbols. The plain round circles with nothing written inside of them are used for input and output. Assign all of your pins to fit in one bank of CPLD connections, so only one jumper cable is required. The banks for our CPLD are pins 1 to 10, pins 13 to 22, pins 23 to 32, and pins 35 to 44. Select each input and output from the bottom of the screen and drag it on top of the pin you would like to use. Make sure you click on the name. For example, if you want AN to be pin 4, click AN on the bottom of the screen and drag it on top of the circle under the label 4. Remember, use only the plain round circles. You only need to assign your inputs and outputs. You'll probably see some other signals listed that you didn't specify. Leave them as they are. Don't touch them. When you're finished, you can close the window. You'll need to compile your design again to fit your design on the PLD board. Click on Processing, Start Compilation to start compilation. Connect your USB blaster cable to one of the USB ports on your computer. Choose Tools, Programmer. The Programmer window will open. If it says USB Blaster USB 0 Mode JTAG, you have the correct hardware. If the USB blaster is not listed as the currently selected hardware, select it and click Add Hardware. Click Close. At the main window, ensure it displays USB blaster USB-0 mode JTAG. Connect the CPLD board to the USB blaster cable connected to the USB port on your PC. The cable should be attached so that the red edge of the USB blaster cable is next to the number, usually a 1 or a 2, that's been written on the board with a marker. If you're not sure which way to connect the cable, ask. Connect the ground and power to the CPLD board and turn the power on. Click Auto Detect and your programmer should detect the CPLD. Delete the file that shows up. Click Add File. Choose POF File. Check Program-Configure. Select Start and you should see the progress indicator increasing slowly. If it just instantly goes up to 100%, there's a problem. You can unplug the USB blaster cable and turn off the power while you're wiring your circuit you won't lose your program. In fact, you don't need to connect up the USB blaster until you want to change the, the circuit. Use the debugger board to wire the input in control mode and the output using display mode. 